Hey, Danielle. Hi. How we doing? Good, how are you? Good, you ready to play a golf hole with us? Sure. We got 319 on the par four. Okay. What's our club? Driver, please. How Thank far do you hit driver? Thank you, from 220 to 260. <laughs> Kind of like that one. All right, what's the craziest food you've ever eaten? Probably Cobra. What did it taste like? Chicken and fish hybrid. Okay. It was delicious. What is your favorite sport to watch besides golf? Probably hockey. Do you have a favorite team? Uh, Vegas Golden Knights. I like that. What actress would play you in a movie? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe Lucy Liu. I, love I like her. that. Who is on the Mount Rushmore of female golfers? Annika Sorenstam, Laura Davies, Julie Inkster, and Kathy Whitworth, probably. Betsy ever... Rawls, too. I mean, there's so many. <laughs> Have any of them given you advice that has really kind of stuck with you? Uh, yes, uh, Annika has given me many advices, and um, so did Julie. So has Nancy Lopez, um, so has Pat Hurst. I mean, they all have different advices, but I think I'm very appreciative of all the advice that they are willing to give me and guide me, so. Is there anything in particular that has stuck with you from them over the years? Well, how important is it to have a relationship with them? I think it's more so, I wouldn't say as a, like an, an important thing. It's more so I'm very thankful that they gave me the time um, to tell me and, and to be able to guide me and to help me more so than, I'm very thankful and blessed to have them be kind of role models more so than anything. Which aspect of your game has improved the most in the last five years? Um, probably my short game, my wedges and around the greens have gotten a lot better in the last five years. Is there a trick that you needed to learn around the green? Practice many, many different shots. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of different shots and um, learning a lot of feels for it. What does a short game practice session look like for you? Is it a half an hour, is it? Um, I actually practice short game way longer than I practice on my ball striking. Really, like mm -hmm. twice as long? Probably twice, minimum three times as long. Wow. Yeah. Short game's at least 80% of my practice. What are okay. we hitting here? What is the yardage, you, you guys? You got 77. To the pin? Where's the to pin? To the pin. Just over this hill. Hitting a 54 degree. Yeah, I think that's going to work out. I'm not sure, I just guessed. <laughs> uh, how would you describe your style? Um, I'm either scale 1 to 10, 2 or a 10. <laughs> and what, and can, you, can you explain what that means? Does that mean you, you either go all out or what is that? Yeah, I, if I get dressed up, I go all out or I normally kind of just wear the joggers and go really comfortable You're style. You're a big fan and of the joggers. Joggers, sweatpants, hoodies, um, that's just kind of my go-to outfits. Okay. And then if I go all out, it's just, you know, if it's dresses and heels and it's, there's no really medium ground. No in between. What is something that Danielle Kang loves that her friends would give her a hard time about? Um, I don't know, probably my music taste. What is your music taste? Uh, I vary a lot. I have a hit list from the 1950s to the 1960s. I also love Justin Bieber. Taylor Swift. Yeah, that makes sense. But you gotta like Glass Animals as well, The Weeknd. I mean, I just, so my music taste is something that like, they tell me to shut it off in the car. Yeah. Uh, you currently live in Vegas. Yes. If you could live anywhere in the world, is it somewhere else? Where would you want to live? Uh, I loved my hometown, Westlake Village. I'd probably live there. Okay. What is the wildest thing you've ever seen happen on a golf course? On a golf course? I guess kangaroos. Mm. I haven't been to like safari golf yet, but seeing kangaroos kind of go up on their tails because they get defensive, that was kind of wild. All right. We got like 10 feet here. If I had to guess, uh, it's definitely right to left. Okay. How do you read putts? Um, I read them first from my golf ball side 
and I try, I go to the other side to see if it's up or down. Okay. And the undulation, and then I go to the sides to kind of see where the color contrast is. So I kind of walk around, I come this way, and I go, oh, it's downhill. I probably should have known that. Do you, see, <laughs> do you see color contrast here? Yeah, I still do. It's darker this way. Wow. Lighter the other way, which means that depending on, I mean, putting's all feel, so then I come up here, see how much it would break from the beginning, feel-ish, and then I pick a line-ish, and then I go. <laughs> all right, what do you see here? I see at that dot. That dot is where I'm going for now. And go. <laughs> Birdie. All right. Well, let's imagine you just won your second career major. Woo! What's on the menu for the celebration dinner? Probably sushi. I love sushi. We'll leave it at that. Cool. Thank you.